helicopter, but thousands of South Vietnamese were not so lucky. John Pickford looks back to the defeat that humiliated a superpower and looked as if it might signal the beginning of the end of capitalism. That's moments that changed our world at 9.15. The well, time now is 8.15 and it's time for our request programme, A Jolly Good Show with Dave Lee Travis. Here is a world piece of news. It's time for A Jolly Good Show from the BBC's Wild Service. Hello. How wild are we? Rawr, rawr. I mean, that's wild. That's pretty wild, isn't it? Welcome to the program. It's DLT here, and it's you out there, so if there's two of us at least, then we have a show. And for the next wee while, you can just relax, take it easy, and listen out to see if your name's mentioned, either because you've sent in a letter to us very wisely, or because you are on the receiving end of a request. Now, Nicholas Hill is first from Washington, D.C. in the USA, who sent in something via the email. That's that electronic mail thing that nobody in the world understands, but everybody has to pretend to understand it to be hip, right? Uh, if you want to be hip, I'll give you our address after the record if you want to send something in by email. Nicholas says, Dear DLT, I lived in Bamako, Mali until about three months ago when I was forced to return to Washington, D.C. When I left, my roommate, Gita Narayan, stayed behind in Mali by herself. She and I used to listen to your show together. I know she's feeling very lonely and deserted, so I hope you'll play a request for her. The song I would like to hear is The One I Love by R.E.M. Sincerely, Nicholas Hill. Oh, do I detect a little bit of uh, romance then, possibly? No more? Ah, oh, well, this'll cheer her up.
I am and the one I love. Now, you should have your pens and paper ready because I'm going to give you our email address. It is ws.pop at bbc.co.uk. Um, it's very easy to remember, isn't it? All together now, ws.pop at bbc.co.uk. Whatever that means. I've never sent an email myself, so I don't, I don't quite understand it myself. But if you're into it in a big way, then I'm sure you can send us a message, just like Nicholas Hill did. Now, we have a Geoffrey from uh, France. In fact, I don't know whether his name should be uh, Lyon or Lyon. Uh, but as he's from France, I'll go with Lyon for the moment, Geoffrey, if that's all right. He's from uh, nuit sur seine and says, Dear LT, I've been addicted to BBC World Service for 30 years, and I can't kick the habit. Uh, my stepson, Stefan Prohaska, originally from Vienna in Austria, is now living in Jamaica. And he has his 28th birthday on the 23rd of March. Now, Stefan is a big, big fan of one of the most significant pop composers of the century. Who's this, then? Is it Lord Lloyd Webber? No, it's Bob Marley. So, would you please play Is This Love for Stefan and his friend Nicola in Montego Bay in Jamaica with birthday wishes from Cecilia and Geoffrey in Paris. And also, would you send greetings to my many wonderful friends around the world, particularly in Pakistan, in India, Turkey, Iran, Australia, New Zealand, North America and Europe. Yours sincerely, Geoffrey Leon. Thank you, Geoffrey, for your letter. Well received. Molly, 
And uh, a very popular request indeed. In fact, it's probably a good time to tell you that uh, as from next week on the show, uh, we're going to be um, putting together records that, that have had the most requests for that week. We'll sort of lump them all together, all the requests, and we'll mention them all. And we're going to be, it's going to be called Dave's Most Wanted, because they are the most wanted records on the BBC Wild Service Jolly Good Show. Uh, but more of that next week. So for now, this is the very last off the wall that we're going to have. Right, uh, off the wall for the last time, and we have a uh, few requests as usual, and Uche Ochiegedi from Ikeja in Nigeria says, my elder sister, Ifyani, was born on the 20th of March 1980, which means she'll clock 17 this year. Uh, would you kindly wish her a wonderful celebration on my behalf and tell her not to grieve too much for finally outgrowing Sweet 16? And uh, D.V. Girija from uh, Nizamabad, Andhra Pradesh in India says, would you play any record of your choice for all my family members and friends? And finally, uh, Nicholas Antwi from Kumasi in Ghana says, I'd like to dedicate a piece of music, please, of your choice to my friends Alfred Kwame Mensa, alias Eric Cantona, um, Amanfo Mensa Robert, and don't forget my pen pals, Teresa Siri of Scotland, Amke Durkop of Germany, and Tracy Govender of South Africa. Right, well, um, I don't know what to say about this record. Because it was the last off the wall, I thought I'd put something special in. Uh, that's what I've been doing every week. Uh, this is the top of my most special list. So when occasionally people in the news media come up and they want DJ's list of top ten records, very favorite records, this, at this point in time, is right at the top of the pile. It's my favorite record, but it's a very sad record, I'm afraid. It's basically the heart-rending story of, of people hurting other people. I think the, the record itself will speak for itself. It's Chris Rea. Enjoy this. It's six minutes long, but it's quite delightful. It's called Tell Me There's a Heaven. <laughs>
to mark uh, the end of uh, the slot on the program off the wall where I've been bringing in stuff from my place I'm sorry if I made you feel a bit sad it always makes me sad that record but I, I love it to death I think it's a wonderful record and it tells a story which is very unfortunately true uh, there are children about that do uh, get beaten badly and some killed as well and we have to face up to the fact and uh, if the music industry can do something like that about it with somebody like Chris Rea that's fine by me anyway from next week on uh, don't forget we'll be uh, replacing that particular slot with Dave's Most Wanted uh, where we'll be playing uh, a whole bunch of requests for one of the records that everybody's fighting to hear on the program so it's going to be quite exciting for something brand new. Now we're going to brighten up a little bit with a request from uh, Misha Market from uh, Versio in Switzerland who says, Dear DLT being one of your older listeners, my 44th birthday is approaching fast, March the 26th. Would you please play One and One by Robert Miles for myself and also for the listening pleasure of my friend Dia in Milan. With kindest regards from a faithful listener, Misha Market. Okay, you're uh, Robert Miles, but you think, hello, Robert's got a very high-pitched voice there, and he's uh, in the Michael Jackson school of singing, but no, it's not. He's been helped out by one Maria Naylor. So thank you, Maria, for adding that, because if you hadn't have been there, well, we'd have just heard thumping, really, and no singing, which would have been terribly sad. This is the BBC Wild Service. It's Travis. Yeah, is that you? Oh, good. Now, Imoesiri Iremiren from Benin City in Nigeria says, Dear Dave, I was introduced to your show in 1992 by my mother. Uh, since then, I haven't missed any, except when there's no electricity. The song I'd like you to play is an old one, which was written before I was born, but probably not before I was. I think it was uh, by The Temptations, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it goes like this. I don't know much about biology. I don't know much about chemistry. 
This sounds like my exam paper from school, actually, I have to tell you. Um, I know the record. I know. It says, since you and Big Al are living in encyclopedias of music, I know you'll find the song. Well, Big Al isn't here today. Uh, Big Dave is here instead. Not, not this one, another one. There is another day, but I won't introduce you to him yet because uh, he's shy initially. But once he opens his mouth, he can't stop him. But maybe later. Anyway, it says, please play it for my parents, brothers and sisters over here in Nigeria and the Rigby family of Ashford in Kent over there in the UK. Also for my schoolmates at the University of Abuja. Yours sincerely, Emo Siri Iremirem. Uh, all right, the record that you want is called Wonderful World and it is by the great Sam Cooke. Here it is. <laughs> History, don't know much biology, don't know much about a science book, don't know much about the French I took, but I do know that I love you, and I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be. Don't know much about geography. Don't know much trigonometry. Don't know much about algebra. Don't know what a slide rule is for. But I do know what it one is to. And if this one could be with you, what a wonderful world this would be. Now, I don't claim to be an A student, but I'm trying to be. For maybe by being an A student, baby, I can win your love for me. Don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. Don't know much about the French I took. But I do know that I love you. And I know that if you love me, What a wonderful world. That's Sam Cook for you. And uh, I find it fascinating when people actually uh, write in and they, they say, I think it was by The Temptations, and the song goes like this, and then they, uh, they read out all these different lyrics for me to try and sort out, and we find it in the end, which is nice. And now we come to a slot in the program where lots of people sit there and go, right, this is it. Get the pens out. Get it all organized. It's time for our Pop Pals. <laughs> Now, our pop pal this week is Jena Ciglanova from Slovakia. And Jena writes, my name is Jena, I'm from Slovakia, and I'm 18 years old. My hobbies are learning English, going to the cinema, listening to music, traveling, writing letters, and shopping. And I'd like to make new friends from all over the world. If you want to write to Jena, the address is Pop Pal Slovakia, a jolly good show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London. And I will repeat that address for you again. Not that I should need to, though. It should be burnt into your brains by now, after all this time. But let's have a look at the list now of Jaina's all-time favourite three records. And we'll do it, uh, in, as usual, in reverse order and play the number one. So, what do we glean from this information? Number three, Underworld and Born Slippy. At number two, Joe Cocker and The Simple Things. And at number one, Jaina's absolutely favorite record is the one we're going to play for you right now. It's by Gloria Estefan, and it's quite delightful, and it's called Reach. Some dreams live on in time forever.
actually I find that quite amusing. No, no, the song is a very, very nice love songy thingy. What's it? But uh, I met Gloria Estefan and she's tiny. She fits under my armpit. I could sneak her in through through customs in any country in the world. She just goes plop under my armpit. She fits right under there. She's only about five foot, so it's no wonder she's singing if I could reach. Obviously, somebody's got to buy her a box to stand on. Uh, but she's also the very favourite, favourite singer of Jaina, who's this week's Pop Pal. So let me remind you, if you want to write to Jaina, it is the following address. Pop Pal Slovakia, a jolly good show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London. And that, of course, is the address to write to should you wish to become a Pop Pal yourself. Very important. Uh, you won't put Pop Pal Slovakia. You'll put your name and some bits and pieces about yourself. And most importantly, please... Uh, let's have your three favourite records, all right? And we will uh, we will attempt, if if you're chosen, to play the number one record for you. Now uh, we move on to Matilda Mascarenhas from Rui in the Sultanate of Oman. Uh, Dear Dave, says the letter, although I've been a long-standing listener of your show, I've never heard a request from this part of the Middle East. Well, I think we've uh, we've had a couple of requests in from the Sultan. I'm sure. Uh, my sister Mabel gets married in April this year, uh, so please dedicate a song of your choice by Bruce Hornsby and the Range to the married couple, Patrick and Mabel. Yours sincerely, Matilda Mascarenas. Um, right, so many to choose from, really, with Bruce Hornsby and the Range. Um, they came out a few years ago. They seem to have quietened down a little bit, but nevertheless, the true music lovers like yourself, Matilda, will keep them alive by asking for them. Uh, Bruce Hornsby with a fabulous track here. This is called Valley Road. He plinks very well. His plonk's not bad as well. I've been round to his house and had a drink. Uh, Bruce Hornsby and the range with Valley Road. We haven't told you about Dave, who's in here assisting me today. Uh, Dave used to be a weatherman. 
Um, and he's, uh, well, basically, he's shy of coming on normal programs. He prefers doing the weather. Dave, it's good to have you with us, mate. I think it's going to be fine tomorrow. No, no, we're talking about today's programme. Have you enjoyed the music so far? I think the sun might come out tomorrow. Yeah, right. Oh, we'll leave him alone in the corner mumbling then. Uh, right, we're, it's time for a phone call. Actually, uh, I don't know if we can get Dave to do this, but I've noticed that normally when we run our phone calls, you see, they're on tape, and we usually have the old uh, bleep at the front. Dave, we've got no bleep. Can we have a nice sunny weather type bleep on the front of this, please? Bleep. Hello, DLT. I'm the Jolly Good Show crew. My name is Patricia Mende, and I'm calling from Perugia in Italy. I would like to send my love to my daughter, Mimi, to my family, and to all the members in Zambia, to my sister Caroline in Malawi, to my friends Sheila in England, and Paolo in Italy, and to all my friends all over the world. Please, Dave, play for me Main Street by Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. By the way, Dave, Will you ever change the color of your studio? This is Patricia from Italy. Bye-bye. I remember standing on the corner at midnight Trying to get my courage up There was this long, lovely dancer in a little club downtown Love to watch her do her stuff Through the long, lonely nights She filled my sleep Body softly swaying to that smoky beat Down on Main Street And the losers Used to watch them through the glass Well, I'd stand outside at closing time Just to watch her walk on past She made her way along Down that empty street Down on Main Street Down on Main Street Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band out on Main Street. Some glorious bits of music for you here on the program. I hope you're enjoying yourself. We've got a bit of rock and roll to finish with today. And Deepak Shah from Nairobi in Kenya is the one who is lucky enough to be chosen for this final portion of the program. Uh, Deepak says, uh, Dear Dave, on the 24th of March, my wife Mancha and myself will be celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary. 20 years of wedlock. Sounds like some wrestling move, doesn't it? No. I know, I've been in it 25 years, mate. I know all about that. Please play Chuck Berry's No Particular Place to Go for my wife, Mancha. Isn't that a good record to play for your wife on the anniversary? What does this mean? You can't afford to take her out and give her a drink or something? She's staying at home watching telly again. Uh, anyway, it says, for my daughter also, Nina, and my son, Nikhil. I'm sure it will really make our day. Stay healthy, and thank you again for your jolly good show. Sincerely yours, Deepak Shah. All right, blue suede shoes out of the corner. Dave, you like a bit of rock and roll, don't you? you you'll do a bit of boogie into this, will you, then? Going to be sunny tomorrow. Oh, dear. Riding along in my automobile My baby beside me at the wheel I stole a kiss at the turn of a mile My curiosity running wild Cruising and playing the radio With no particular place to go Riding along in my automobile 
I was anxious to tell her the way I feel So I told her softly and sincere And she leaned and whispered in my ear Cuddling more and driving slow With no particular place to go So we parked way out on the Kokomo The night was young and the moon was cold So we both decided to take a stroll Can you imagine the way I felt? I couldn't unfasten a safety belt Riding along in my calaboose Still trying to get her belt to loose Safety belt that wouldn't burst Cruising and playing the radio With no particular place to go That's it, as they say, a bit of rock and roll. Hope you've enjoyed our program today. We'll be back again same time next week. Don't forget, we'll have a new little slot in there. Uh, we've, we've taken away... We've taken away my cellar. We've, all the records have gone. Yeah, we've thrown them all on the bonfire. And we're doing something completely different instead. It's all, it's your most wanted. And it's going to be a lot of fun. All those, the, all those of you writing for the same record, uh, we're going to put you all in, uh, in the bag. We're going to mention you, and we're going to play a fabulous record for you on the program. So that's next week. In the meantime, can I remind you, if you'd like to, drop me a line. It is DLT, a jolly good show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London. Or you can call us and leave your message on the answer machine. Telephone number is London, 171 379 4565. <laughs> That's London 171-379-4565. Thank you very much indeed for listening. Um, this might be a good time to find out what the weather's going to be like. Dave, are we going to have any decent weather soon, or what? See that fluffy cloud up there? That's what? a nimbus cloud. Oh, get home. See you next time. Take care. <laughs>